Hello everyone, welcome to Breathe Kids Church. If it's your first time this morning, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lucy and myself and the Breathe Kids team are so glad you are here. This month, our series is called Thankfulness. So we are now on week three. And if you missed last week's, why not go back and have a look at it because we learned so much. I'm looking forward to what we're going to be learning today as well. But now I'm going to hand over to our awesome worship team. So let's go and praise Jesus together. We love praising Jesus with you. Now is the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your Bibles and your pens. Ready to take some notes? You've got 10 seconds. Go.
So as you know, this month we're talking all about thankfulness. You see, God didn't just give us Jesus. He gave us everything good we have in this life. All the good things that make you happy, all the loved ones you hold dear, every one of them is a gift from God. And when you stop to realise all that God has given you, it makes you want to shout for joy. David, the great king of Israel, was so moved by God's blessings, he wrote them down in a song. Let's look at one of the many songs David wrote about the things God did for him. I'm going to read Psalm chapter 138. It says this. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness. For you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. When I called you, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. May all the kings of the earth praise you, Lord, when they hear what you have decreed. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. As the king of Israel, David had a much different life than you and me. He was a soldier, a general, and the leader of God's people. David knew that God was looking out for him. He knew that victory came from God, and he knew that God would protect him from forces that wanted to hurt him. David never took these blessings for granted. He never gave in to the temptation to believe that he was responsible for his own good fortune. David praised God for everything at all times. He thanked God for everything, knowing that all the blessings he enjoyed came from God. I don't see any kings or future kings in this room, but I do see boys and girls who are greatly loved. And just like David, we can count our blessings and praise God daily for the things he has given us. God's blessings began long before Jesus came to earth. God made the world for our enjoyment. He filled it with every kind of animal. He put the sun, moon and stars in the sky. He gave us fish and birds to enjoy, flowers to enjoy and good foods to enjoy. God also gave us our families. He gives us mums and dads and grandparents and even siblings. He also gives us good friends to stand beside us. If you've got a close friend, someone who's always there for you no matter what, that's a blessing from Jesus. God also gave us talents that make us special. He gave us personalities and quirks that make us unique. And God gives each of one of us a special calling only we can fulfill. God didn't just give us Jesus. He gave us a world filled with blessings for our enjoyment. God wants us to celebrate his goodness. He wants us to count our blessings so we can never forget what he has done for us. He loves us and he wants us to love him in return. God has blessed every one of us richly. Every good thing we have comes from God. Let's make counting our blessings a daily habit. Let's thank God for all he has given us and praise his name for his amazing love. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings you have given to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our memory verse is 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8, and it says this. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Say it with me. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Why not find this in your Bibles and underline it, write it in a notebook so you can remember this awesome memory verse. This week we have a brand new devotional for you which you can find on the Breathe New Life Church website underneath the Breathe Kids Church section. We hope you have enjoyed what we learned about today. Have a great half term and we'll see you all next week.